The third process of the build acquire and implement domain called manage solutions identification and build, has 11 practices. The fifth practice is to build solutions. From a RACI charts perspective, the entities that are responsible are, the business process owners and the project management office. The entity that is held accountable is the head of IT development. The practice receives no inputs, but generates one output which is the integrated and configured solution components to be used by the BAI6 process. The activities involved in this practice include, configuring and integrating the solution components in alignment with the specifications and quality requirements and controls. Audit trails should be maintained during this phase, and the business processes and related procedures should be updated. The solution's customization and changes should be assessed, and the interoperability of the solution components should be ensured. If needed, the service catalogs should be updated. The sixth practice is to perform quality assurance. The entities responsible for this practice are, the business process owners, the project management office, and the head of IT development. The entity that is held accountable is the steering program committee. The practice receives two inputs which are, the results of the quality management system effectiveness reviews from the APO11 process, and the quality management plan from the BAI1 process. It generates two outputs which are, the quality assurance plan and the quality review results, both to be used by the APO11 process. The activities involved in this practice include, defining a quality assurance plan and the required practices, such as the quality criteria, the validation process, and the roles and responsibilities. The solution's quality should be regularly monitored, based on the project requirements and the acceptance criteria. Quality assurance techniques should be employed such as, code inspection, automated testing, and continuous integration. The quality review's outcomes should be reported to the development and IT management team. For all quality exceptions, corrective actions should be implemented. The seventh practice is to prepare for solution testing. The entities responsible for this practice include, the head of IT development, the head of IT operations, and the IT service manager. The entity that is held accountable is the program steering committee. The practice receives no inputs, but generates two outputs which are, the test plan and the test procedures, both to be used by the BAI7 process. The activities involved in this practice include, creating a test plan that complies with the enterprise strategy to create a suitable testing environment. The purpose of the testing is to verify that the solution will operate successfully in a live environment. The testing environment should be created, reflecting real-world scenarios and conditions. Test procedures should be established, facilitating the evaluation of the operation of the solution. The eighth practice is to execute the solution testing. The entities responsible are, the business process owners, the head of IT development, and the head of IT operations. The entity that is held accountable is the program steering committee. The practice receives one input which is, the analysis of rejected initiatives from the AP04 process. It generates two outputs which are, the test result log, and the test result communications, both to be used by the BAI7 process. The activities involved in this practice include, executing the testing of the solution and its components according to the test plan. The testers team should include unbiased members, independent of the development team. The testing should be performed in the testing environment only. The testing should follow the test procedures, including the integration with the business processes. Any detected errors during the testing should be logged and classified, and the testing should be repeated until all errors have been resolved. The testing outcomes should be documented, and communicated with the relevant stakeholders.